Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Ben. I'm a runner who's also a running coach who specializes in human optimization in order to improve performance. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I eat as a plant-based athlete. So when it comes to me waking up first thing in the morning, this is kind of my little morning medley. So the first one is, it is a vegan supplement and it has D3, B12, iron and iodine. So just making sure that I'm getting the minerals needed because the food that I eat doesn't tend to have B12 in. Then from here, I'll have some electrolytes and this one has added vitamin C, especially during kind of these times with COVID around, it's important to have good levels of vitamin C. And then from here, I'll have some omega-3s, so some vegan, vegan omega-3s, which is just DHA, EPA. Um, and I'll have two of these tablets, really good for brain health and good fats. And on top of this, I'll have some good green vitality from Newsest. Now I am an affiliate of this, so if you are interested in getting this, you do get 15% off and I'll put my code in the description below. Um, and this has every green thing ever invented. It is pretty much a really simple way of making sure that you are getting everything you need to thrive. So I'll just have a couple of scoops of this first thing in the morning. And that's what I would have before going for a run. So for the first meal, it's gonna be oats with a protein shake. So I usually go for a run first thing in the morning and have my multivitamins, then come back and get into the oats. First thing that I do is I like to use natural sugar. So I'm using a banana here. And all I'm gonna do, put the banana in and just mash up. So that's the base. You can use maple syrup if you want. However, this has got a bit more fiber and the more fiber you have, the more it will fill you up. Then from here, all I'm gonna do is put in the dry ingredients. What we have is, I usually do like a tablespoon of cinnamon. However, I'm a little bit generous on this because I love cinnamon. Now from here, what we have is some oats and I've already measured this. It's around 50 grams of oats and that'll go in as well. We also have some chia seeds. So really good for omega-3s, anti-inflammatory, and just healthy fats. So a tablespoon of those. The last dry ingredient is just some cacao. Cacao is fantastic anti-inflammatory, anti but antioxidant as well. And it just makes things taste like chocolate, and I love chocolate taste. So yet again, a very generous tablespoon. So just put some boiling water in, and the oats that I've used are quick oats. So I could eat it like this, but what I'll do is I'll put it in the microwave as well. Just give this one last mix. I promise you it will look better than this when it's, once it's cooked. And it'll go into the microwave for around a minute and a half. Right, so the oats are cooked from the microwave, so everything's looking good there. Now, what I like to do is I use frozen berries and I'll take these out first thing in the morning. And the reason for this is to let them thaw through. I don't like to warm them up. And then from here, I'm just gonna put them to come out into the corner. Now, I'm not a professional chef, so this is not gonna look amazing. However, it does taste amazing. Now, this is the star of the show. I'm just gonna show you this now. So this is called Biscoff. Um, I've seen a couple of people on other YouTube videos use this, and I tried it, and I've fallen in love with it. So I'll use a tablespoon of this to put on, and this will melt on the porridge, and it will be absolutely amazing. And this is my favorite meal. I could literally eat this three times a day. Yet again, I'm quite generous when it comes to this. And that would be porridge done. And you can see, I like to make food which is really simple, very quick for when people are on the move. Um, so that would be the, the porridge. And then what I'm gonna show you now, next is how you can make the smoothie as well. So for my, you could say either a mid-morning snack or straight after my oats is my protein purple smoothie. This is gonna have a couple of things that people aren't used to and I'll explain why as I go through. So the first thing that I put in is beetroot. So that's probably about, you know, maybe 50, 60 grams of beetroot. Really good when it comes to helping to improve performance. Um, it's got nitrates in, which is gonna help to improve the amount of oxygen in the blood, very important. So the next thing is mint. Now, I like to have green in every meal. Really important when you are eating a plant-based diet that you have green in every meal. Then from here, what I've got is, I've got around a cup full of blueberries. So yet again, more antioxidants, good fiber as well, and I love blueberries. 
So we'll just put these in here. Then from here, something a little bit different. So this is called Kiwi Crush. Now, I, I don't know if you can get this worldwide, but Kiwi Crush is a little bit of kiwi fruit um, and blueberries, and it helps, it's high fiber, so it helps people who are struggling going into the toilet. I love the taste of it, so I use this pretty much in all my smoothies. So that will go in there. And from here, what we go for is some cinnamon. Helps to control blood sugar levels, and yet again, I love the taste of cinnamon. So it's just a pinch. Every smoothie I have, I always put in turmeric. Now, turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. Uh, and when you are training and doing high volume food, you want to recover as best you can. So it's just a pinch of turmeric in, but you also need its best friend, which is black pepper. So I'm just gonna grab some black pepper, and it's just a tiny bit of black pepper because that activates the turmeric and it makes it more absorbable when it comes to us using it. Now from here, I've got some protein, so vanilla protein, quite high protein, so it's around 30 grams of protein per serve. Uh, when it came to the porridge as well, that's quite high in protein. Majority of the meals that I eat are higher in protein. To finish off with, now you don't have to do this, but I love chocolate almond milk, and I usually put around a cup full of this in here. About it. And then that's the smoothie there. So we'll just get this going. A tip when it comes to eating plant-based is eat really colorful foods. The more colorful foods are, tends to be the higher in antioxidants and they just have more minerals in, which is what we're looking to get. We want this to be as nutrient dense as possible. If you're not used to eating so much high volume, this is high volume food, which is, tends to be quite low in calories as well. So I'm able to get twice as much food as what I usually would if I was eating highly processed foods, liquid, fiber, fills you for longer and it gives you more energy as well. So that would be either part two of my breakfast or a mid-morning snack. Right now for lunch, I'm gonna be having one of my favorites, which is tofu scramble. So to begin with, all we need is to get some firm tofu. So it's around 300 grams. And in this alone, we have about 13 grams of protein in, so decent amount of protein. And all we do to begin with is we just break it up. Now the firmer it is, I, I prefer firmer, you can get soft, but the firmer the better for me. So you just break the tofu up. Then from here, I've got my little spice mix already set up. Now in here, what we have, we have turmeric, black pepper, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and onion powder. And it's a tablespoon of each, apart from the nutritional yeast, which is two tablespoons. And nutritional yeast, really important for anyone who's eaten a plant-based or vegan lifestyle. And then two tablespoons of getting five grams of protein and yet again, more B12. You just sprinkle that on and then you just mix it around. And that's pretty much the mix done there. Just break it down a bit more. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna put this in a frying pan which has already been warming up. Um, so just over here. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And it doesn't take long to make, it's just a couple of minutes. So you can see it's a decent amount of food here, but tofu is really high in calcium as well, which is good for runners or athletes. So for every meal, I always aim to have something green in it. And this is my time to put the green stuff in. So all I'm gonna do is put the spinach in. Now you can put as much spinach in as you would like. What this is gonna do, it's gonna wilt down in the heat as well and when you do that you're making it way more absorbable to the body to break down and use to spend a couple of minutes doing this it looks like i'm eating so much spinach here but it's going to be wilted down in a couple of minutes and it'll look like it's barely nothing so as you can see the spinach is wilted down the tofu is taking its color and i forgot to say it is 33 grams of protein per 100 grams it was 13 grams so we're eating 300 grams here so really high high in protein so i don't need to worry about my protein content at all and then on top of that i've just got some sourdough in the toaster so I've just made these and I'm just gonna put some avocado on top and then that will be lunch. So also I'm just putting some avocado on top of here. Avocado, fantastic source of fat. Um, and I love to use avocado as a replacement for butter or margarine. Obviously I can't have butter because I'm plant-based. So this is a really good way. Of just getting some really healthy fats into my body. From here, all I would do is put tofu on top, just making a mess everywhere. And then on top of that, we've got to put some red on there. 
So this is a good time when I would be using capsicum or red pepper, well, red bell pepper. And then from here, we'll just put this on top. And yet again, it's a high protein, nutrient dense meal that takes minutes to make. So this is a standard lunch in my household. And this is sauerkraut. So sauerkraut, fantastic probiotic food. And this is prebiotic foods as well. So the toast, the um, vegetables. So it allows the probiotics to do the job, which is the strengthen the gut and the stronger the gut, the stronger the immune system, which is really important for what's happening around the world right now. And you don't need much of it. It's just a, literally a top and that would be lunch. For the last meal, it's gonna be a chili. Now, when I, when I transitioned to being plant-based, I made dishes that were quite big so I could have them for a number of days afterwards. So the rule still applies. On a Monday and Wednesday, I will bulk make, and then the rest of the days, I will eat that meal. So it just means that at the end of the day, I don't need to think about what I'm having for dinner. Now, chili is super easy to make. You can see some of the ingredients here. So mushrooms, red pepper, capsicum, um, garlic, red onion, and then we've got some extra frozen vegetables. And don't be afraid to use frozen food because it is amazing. It's packed full of nutrients and it's sometimes actually better than buying fresh food, depending on what time of the week you're buying it and if the foods were looking a bit wilted. Then from here, we have some spice mix. So this is just smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin and coriander seeds. Now I make my own kind of spices uh, mixed together because when you buy pre-packed ones, they tend to have a lot of salt in. So that's just a helpful tip. Also, when it comes to using anything like this, I will always try and buy ones with no added salt, just to keep an eye on sodium. I'm gonna show you how to cut an onion because I see so many people do this on YouTube and it's painful to watch. All you're gonna do, you're gonna keep that end on and then the key is you're just gonna slice up and down through here. Now, this is the key here. We're gonna slice across just be careful with your fingers and push down. And then from here, we're just gonna slice down and that's perfect little chunks every time. So super easy to do. And it just makes it a little bit less painful for when you're cutting onions. So once we've got the onions cut, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the base of the recipe in. When it comes to the recipe, it is onion and garlic first. You can see I don't like to cook with oil because that is unnecessary calories. Um, so the key is you gotta make sure your pan is pretty hot so you can see it's smoking there. So I'm just gonna put the base in. This meal takes less than five minutes to make. It's super quick. So onion and garlic in first. Then straight after that, I will put the mushrooms in. Just give it a couple of minutes, just to brown. The key is to keep moving it, otherwise it will burn because you are cooking it at a higher heat. Then from here, after that's done for a couple of minutes, this is when we put the spice mix in. So that is just there, and that's just a tablespoon of everything and then two tablespoons of the smoked paprika. So the reason why we put the spices in is it gives them a chance to activate, so it actually gets the flavor going. But we don't wait too long, otherwise it will burn. So what I'm gonna do now is be, I'm gonna be putting the beans and lentils into the dish. And I always put the herbs and spices in first to activate it so it helps to enhance the flavor. So we put these in here. And this is essentially the mince of the dish. So just give this a couple of more minutes. And the great thing with this dish, you can use it for multiple things. So it can be something like a lasagna, you can make enchiladas with it, you can just have it in a wrap. So it's a very versatile dish. Now from here, I'm just putting in the frozen vegetables. So we've got carrots, we've got broccoli, we've got corn in there. I think it's some onions as well and some green beans. You can put in whatever you want. Just a great way of adding more vegetables into the dish, just making it more nutrient dense. And then from there, I'm gonna be putting in the red capsicum. Just give that a bit of a stir. So the last thing I'm gonna be putting in is some canned tomatoes. Now, 
you just get basic ones. I've just got this one in particular because it is lower in salt. So that's the key, less salt. I don't need unnecessary sodium in my life. And from there, we put this in. I might need another can because of how much filling there is. We give that a mix, but that's pretty much it. And you can see it's a big batch. So this isn't gonna feed me for at least a couple of days. So the last thing to add in is just a little bit of maple syrup. I just put a tiny bit in just to offset the acidity from the tomatoes. So it's just a tiny bit that goes in. And that's pretty much it. That is everything done there. So this meal, you can see it's got about four or five servings of vegetables. It is high in fiber, high in protein. It is all whole foods and it's super simple to make. And that's really how we should be looking to make our food. Don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple. All right, so here is the final meal. It is chili with some whole grain and black rice topped off with a little bit of avocado. So as I say, all whole food based, has everything in it, fiber, protein, uh, complex carbohydrates, nutrients, super dense food, and as I say, super easy to make. So that would be the first, they would be the main meals of how I eat to be a plant-based athlete. And then on top of that, I do have some additional snacks that I have throughout the day. Right, so when it comes to my snacks, I keep it very simple yet again. This is the reoccurring theme. So I like to have some kombucha in the afternoon. This kind of gives me a little bit of a energy buzz, but on top of that, it is full of probiotics foods, which is just gonna help support the gut, stronger gut, stronger immune system. From here, I like to have some almonds during the day as well. Yet again, it's a good source of fats. And what this is gonna do, it's just gonna help to kind of get my calories up because believe it or not, all this food today comes up to around 2000 calories. Now, the last one is the good old apple. I love apples, so um, I like to have this in the morning, you know, just easy, digestible foods. And I like to have this probably if I'm in the gym training, I'll probably have the apples and the nuts together. And that is like a post-workout snack. One last point, when it comes to hydration, I drink around four to five liters per day. It is super important that we stay hydrated, especially when we are training lots and moving lots. This is gonna help not only support the amount of fiber that we're eating, but it's also gonna have benefits like boosting energy, improving movement patterns, and it's actually gonna help to decrease a little bit of your appetite if you are trying to eat at a more of a calorie deficit. So that is the video. That is how I eat as a plant-based athlete. If you like what you've saw, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share it with other people. If you have any questions, please feel free to put a comment section in below and just know all the recipes will be in the description. If you wanna follow me on my IG, feel free to do that. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And if you have a personal matter, please feel free to reach out on my email just below here and I will be more than happy to answer any questions or if you're interested in working with me one-on-one. -on -one. So just remember, you got to move to improve and it's not about how much training you can do, it's about how much you can absorb and I'll see you in the next one.